i hope you all are excited for the tour so in order to expedite today's boarding process i request you all to carry your boarding pass with you so let's start first we will have a look on the countries which we are going to travel in this tour so manbir our director is here to guide you through the country over to manbir thank you divya hi everyone how are you all hi manvet hi sisya hi matimudin i hope you all are excited thumbs up okay so now we will discover all the countries which we are going to visit in this tour so i hope you all are excited okay so here is your journey begin so today first of all today we will explore india and after india we will visit these countries okay so so first one is australia so how many of you have heard about this country australia you can unmute and you can tell ma'am i i have i i heard australia before and it's a island i got it before 2 3 weeks wow nice yes okay after australia we will be visiting austria okay so could somebody tell me about this country have you known this country before austria ma'am no i have only heard us Australia. That's okay. We will go this country as well. So next is Cambodia. After Cambodia, we will visit Canada. So Canada is a quite a popular country, right? Ma'am. Yes. Favorite favorite country is Canada, and my my family has went before I was there. Okay, that's great. So after Canada, we will visit France. A very beautiful country to visit. Ma'am, I know France. Wow, that's great. What about others, Himanvit? What about you? Have you heard about this country before? Yes, ma'am, I've heard of it, ma'am. Great. And we have Mathi Mugan as well. What about you? I am also flavor at ma'am. Wow, great. So after France, we will visit Germany. So I hope this country you all have heard about, right? Okay. So after Germany, we will visit Greece. Then we will visit Hungary. Have you heard about this country before, Hungary? Ma'am, ma'am, no. Okay. So it's quite different. To it's not Hungary. it's hungary then we will go iceland after that israel then we will visit italy okay so do you all love pizza how much do you love of italy okay okay So anyone here is a pizza lover? Ma'am, I know Italy. Yeah, I know great, Italy, great. Ma'am. Yeah, so pizza it originated from the Italy itself. Okay, so after Italy, he was it Kuwait. Then we'll go to Malaysia. Ma'am, I know that. Ma'am, I know that country, and I like it. Wow. Okay. Then we'll go Maldives. Very beautiful place, ma'am. Yeah, it is very beautiful place. It is the island country. Ma'am, I've heard of Maldives. Oh wow! Great. My uncle went there. Okay. So would you like to go there when you grow up? I haven't went, my but my uncle went, ma'am. Okay, okay, great. 
So next we'll go to Mauritius. Then Mexico. Mom, I have heard Mexico. Okay, that's great. Then we'll go Nepal. So Nepal is a neighboring country of India and I hope you all have heard about this. Yeah, ma'am. I know Nepal, but I don't explore ab about Nepal a lot. That's okay. We'll visit this country in the tour and you will be exploring all these countries. Okay, ma'am. Then we'll go New Zealand. Uh, I know. Okay. After that, it's Oman. Then Philippines. Then Poland. Then we we'll visit Qatar. After that, Russia. Ma'am, Russia is the biggest country in the world. Yes, it is the largest I country. The, yeah, yeah, I have seen in the map printout. Yeah. First airplane in the world, ma'am. Yes. Then we'll go Singapore. Ma'am, I know Singapore. That's wonderful. And it's very beautiful place. Definitely, it is very beautiful. And Sri Lanka is so beautiful place. Yeah, Sri Dad, Lanka. Yeah. Dad lived Sita. Okay, yes, in the Ramayana, you have heard about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then we will visit Switzerland. One of the best places. Yeah. After that, we will go UAE. Have you heard about this country before? United Arab Emirates? No, ma'am. Okay, so we will visit here as well. Then we will go UK, United Kingdom. London, ma'am. Yeah. I know, ma'am. Then we'll go USA, United States of America. I know, ma'am. My cousin yeah. is there. Yes, I know about oh, USA. Okay. And the last country is Vatican City. Smallest city. Yeah, so these were the few countries which we will be visiting in this tour. So, uh, let's start with our today's journey with the country India because like we belong to the country India. So, we will start with India. So, so with us we have Dr. Nishtha. So, she will be taking you to the tour of the India. So, over to you Dr. Nishtha. Thank you Mandir. Hello everyone. How are you all? Fine, ma'am. Fine, ma'am. Fine, doing good? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. So, let's start with the tour. But before that, can I just know you all are from which places? Like, uh, Himanvit, you're from which place? Which city or town or district or anything? Ma'am, I'm from Bangalore, ma'am. Okay, Bangalore. All right. And Mati Mugan, you are from which place? Madurai, ma'am. Madurai and Shrisia. Ma'am, I am from Bangalore. So all of you are from the south part, right? Yes. All right. Okay. Let's begin with the tour then. So we'll start with the tour in India first, and then the other countries, of course. So. So, have you already seen the map of India? Are you aware of the map? The north, east, west, south? Yes. All Ma right. a little. Sorry? A little. A little. Okay. So, what do you know about India, Shrisia? A little. What little do you know? That is Mama. the place, ma'am. Yes. Mama, one by one. 
Ma'am, little I know uh, about the um, uh, north, north, east, south, west. Okay, okay. No problem. We'll be exploring India as it is. So, no issue. Okay, ma'am. Yes, yes, Himanvit. You were saying something? Ma'am, I... Mama, I know India has 26 countries and some of the people in this class live in the Karnataka of the India. Okay. India has 26 countries. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. 26 countries. No, India states, itself ma is a country. States. Yes, that's right. 26 states. Okay. Yes, and uh, very good. And Mati Mugan, what about you? Anything you want to add? No, ma'am. No? Okay, no problem. Ma'am, represent yes. place. Sorry, I could not get that. That map represent place. Uh, I am still not able to understand. Map represent place. Yes, and map I'm represents place. places. Okay, yes, true. That's true. And, and location, ma'am. Yes, exactly. Locations. It's easy for us to, you know, understand the locations through the maps. So, India, officially the Republic of India, we call it officially the Republic of India. That is Bharat Ganarajya. Okay, it is a country in the southern part of Asia. It is the second most populous country, the seventh largest country by land area, and the most populous democracy in the world. It is bounded by the Indian Ocean on the south. Let's see this with the map, okay? So it's bounded by the Indian Ocean on the south. Here, yes. Then the Arabian Sea on the southwest. So here it is, right? This is the south. This is the western part. So it's between them, right? So it's the southwestern part. And what else? And the Bay of Bengal on the southeast. So, here is the Bay of Bengal. Then it shares land borders with Pakistan to the west, China, Nepal and Bhutan to the north. So, here is there. Pakistan is here on the western part. Then China, Nepal and Bhutan here in the northern part, right? And Bangladesh and Myanmar to the east, okay? So, this is the eastern part here so bangladesh is here okay and myanmar they are located in the eastern part so they are the borders they are the you know you can say india shares its land borders with these places now india is in the vicinity of sri lanka and the maldives okay so we all know this is sri lanka this small part here and the Maldives, its Andaman and Nicobar Islands share a maritime border with Thailand, Myanmar and Indonesia. Now the flag. What do you all know about the flag? Anything specific you would like to tell me yes, about the Indian I flag? Yes. Yes, please. First color. It has three colors, ma'am. Saffron, white and green, ma'am. And it, in the middle, it has the Ashoka Chakran and it has 24 spokes. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, the national flag of India. In Hindi, what do we call it? Tiranga. Right. It is a horizontal rectangular tricolor of India. So, the colors which are present are saffron, white and green. And the blue color of the Ashoka Chakra in the middle. So, the 24 spoke wheel. So, this Ashoka Chakra or Ashoka Chakra, anything you can call it, it has 24 spoke wheels. Okay. And it is of the color navy blue. It was adopted in its present form during a meeting of the Constituent Assembly held on 22nd July 1947. And it became the official flag of the Dominion of India on 15th August 1947. So it was adopted on 22nd July and it was declared as the national flag on 15th August. Both, of course, in 1947. The flag was subsequently retained as that of the Republic of India. 
in any other term tricolor almost always refers to the indian national flag so whenever we call it a tricolor or whenever you call it tiranga so it is always referred to as the national flag of india the flag is based on the swaraj flag a flag of the indian national congress which was designed by pingali venkaya now 26 january was you know declared as the republic day of india and when is the independence day come on come on come on august 15 very august. nice yes exactly now who are these two people i guess and everyone the knows the first is the president of prime minister of india mm. what is his name narendra modi very good and, and the i second don't one? know and i don't know about the second person oh anyone else knows iman with mathi mugan no man no oh you no, should no. know him you should know him he is jawahar lal nehru he was the first prime minister of india okay so remember this now jawahar lal nehru the first prime minister of india Yeah. All right. I wish the uh, roast, ma'am. Yes, yes. Who said okay. this? Who said this? Mathi Mogan, ma'am. Very good. Yes, Mathi Mogan. That's true. Now, Thank this you. is the currency of India. Yes. So, Indian national rupee. So, what do we use the currency for? You know, for buying or selling items or for exchanging things, right? This is what we use the currency for. Yes. So, what is it called? Buying yes. money, ma'am. Money. Yes, money. Very good. Short and crisp. Money. Very good, Iman. With. Buying. Yes. Sorry, I could not hear that. Did someone say something? Buying. Buying something. Ah, uh, Mathi Mugan, I cannot hear you properly. Ah. Uh, Buying something. buying something okay okay yes that's true now let's come to the facts about india's economy so india has a mixed economy do you know what is meant by mixed economy no all right no problem i'll tell you so mixed economy basically means you know the private sector and the public sector in a combination just for you to understand i'm telling you this that it means the private sector thing and the public sector or the government thing so we have private properties also right in india we own properties right it is not not just you know under the you know you can say under the government completely we also own properties right so it is a mixed economy private plus public or the government sectors all right half of the workers in india rely on agriculture so agriculture is you know one of the most followed occupations in india the farming thing you all know agriculture right yes all right all right the cost of living is lower than in the us of course the accommodation thing the you know the cost of living and you know surviving in india is much much lower than compared to the us the indian middle class is bigger than the us middle class so the middle class population in india is quite you know quite large as compared to the us middle class it's an attractive country for outsourcing such as call centers now do you know what is meant by outsourcing no ma'am all right no problem see i am just asking you these just because i want you to be interactive that's all if you don't know something it's completely fine that's all right okay so outsourcing basically means you know you are uh, you know you are just handing over some some part of your job or some part of your work to some other third party person or third party company just to you know lower your burden that's called outsourcing do you understand now yes ma'am all right great and bollywood contributes billion yes yes i'm sorry yes one second tell you ma'am okay how you want to know about outsourcing yes ma'am all right outsourcing just means that you are handing over or you know you are just giving a part of your work to some other third party or some other company to get some help from them 
and also to expand your business simultaneously clear now yes, all right then bollywood contributes billions to india's gdp yes bollywood is a big big contributor in india's economy okay ma'am i can't understand about the facts a lot okay so what exactly do you not understand shrisya ma'am the facts only okay which one ma'am the uh second one and the half of the workers and the fifth one uh fifth one so second one is about agriculture and fifth one is about outsourcing is that your question yeah ma'am okay so what you did not understand in this shrisya tell me ma'am the full fact the full fact see there is no full fact as such it's just that you know in india most of the people are dependent on agriculture for their income at least half of the india's population is dependent on agriculture for their income this is what it means okay ma is it clear now all right and yes. the outsourcing thing is you are just you know taking someone else's help to grow your business and to you know lower down your burden a third party person a third party company you are just taking their help this is what you can understand for now is it clear now yes ma'am better okay thank you all right Welcome. now the world heritage sites of india so these are the famous places here the world heritage sites these are listed in the world heritage sites list so the first one is ajanta caves so this is located in maharashtra more specifically in aurangabad the monuments at hampi this is located at karnataka in karnataka actually not at karnataka in karnataka then is the muse tomb this is located in delhi the sun temple this is in konark as the name suggests then the manas wildlife sanctuary this is located in assam do you know what is a wildlife sanctuary anyone no no one no one world animals living place mathi i could not hear you world animal living place whose living place wild wild animal wild animals okay yes wild animals are quite safe there in the wildlife sanctuaries in the national parks true very good then the fatehpur sikri this is located in agra in uttar pradesh then khajuraho monuments of course it's located in khajuraho in chatarpur actually in madhya pradesh the buddhist monuments are located in sanchi this is again in madhya pradesh then mahabodhi temple this is in bihar agra fort this is in uttar pradesh then the chhatrapati shivaji terminus this is in mumbai and nalanda nalanda university to be more specific this is in bihar now the other monuments the famous monuments in india amar jawan jyoti this is in new delhi rajghat this is again in new delhi then shantivan again new delhi then the next one is orovilu mantra mandir this is in puducherry or pondicherry then the jallianwala bag amritsar buddha stupa this is in sarnath in bihar vithal temple this is in karnataka vijayanagar then the shaking minarets this is located in gujarat so you can just you know remember the names of the monuments even if you don't remember the cities that's okay for now but you should know the famous monuments in india ma'am uh, yes what is in karnataka this vithal temple in vijayanagar in karnataka okay ma'am okay then the humayun tomb we just saw it it's in delhi jahaz mahal it's in madhya pradesh mandu bibi ka maqbara this is again in aurangabad and elephanta caves so if you remember ajanta caves elephanta caves okay these are in maharashtra clear now let's come to the culture of india 
the festivals of india okay so which festivals do we celebrate in india independence day republic day holi raksha bandhan deepavali then baisakhi lohri onam then what other what other festivals eid yes eid anything else yes janmashtami janmashtami happy krishna janmashtami yes christmas durga puja and what else pongal pongal is there yes rakshabandhan i have already mentioned okay right anything else i forgot pongal ma'am add... christmas pongal yes yes pongal christmas and anything else happy krishna janmashtami okay it's happy christmas or just christmas saraswati christmas we wish merry christmas but it's actually just saraswati puja ma'am no ma'am happy krishna happy krishna it's janmashtami yes ma'am yes janmashtami all right i heard it happy christmas i'm sorry okay anything else left no we'll go ahead all yes. right now the traditional dresses so what do we wear in india sari salwar suits kurta pajama then what else jeans these are of course the western culture dresses the jeans t-shirts and tops these are not the indian dresses as such so which ones are the indian dresses kurta pajama sari salwar suits yes now the national symbols of india national emblem this is the national emblem what's written on the national emblem always satyamev jayate yes right or not yes ma'am right the ma national the, flag ma'am the national game of game of india is hockey yes that's right very good shreesia so it's you. hockey it's, yes all national right then what else is ganga ma'am uh, sorry yes mathi mugan national river ganga national river ganga okay and the national bird is what peacock peacock, peacock. it's a beautiful bird no yeah ma'am yeah. when it rains it uh, yeah it rains its wings feathers like this yes yeah. it looks beautiful yeah and the national and my animal favorite animal is... fruit is mango tiger even mine even mine yes yes tiger the national animal is tiger and the national flower is lotus lotus, lotus. even its favorite okay and That's the national the tree what is right? this tree banyan tree banyan tree banyan tree very good very good so you all know the national anthem right yes yes ma'am okay great we will not sing it right now because you'll have to stand you know in attention and then sing it so we cannot sing it like that now the beautiful places to visit in india uh i'm sorry for this manbir Yeah, this we have just covered about the monuments. So that's all. All right. So here we come to the end of this tour for India. So which are the places which you have visited in India? Can you tell me? Himanvit, Shreesia, and Mathi Mogan. Ma'am, I visited Kerala, ma'am. Okay, ma that's beautiful. Ma'am, I visited Pondicherry before few weeks. Okay, Pondicherry, all right. And you, Mathi Mogan? Pandanendam. Where? Pandanendam. Ah, uh, I could not understand. Which which place? Bangalore, ma'am. Bangalore, all right, all right. Okay, okay, fine. Yes, over to Manbi now. Ma'am, and the beach also. And the beach also, all right. Great. That's Alipi beautiful. Beach. Alipi Beach. Okay. 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 All right. All right. And okay, Peria so. National Park. Peria National Park. Okay. Fine. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. Yes, Manbir. Did you all enjoy your tour today? Yes, ma'am. Yes. You learned a lot. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Even I know Vidhan Sauda. Okay, that's great. Okay, so tomorrow we will be visiting Australia. 
Okay. So I have a small task for you all. You all have to search about the flag of Australia. Okay. You can okay, draw the flag of Australia. Either you can color it or paint it. Whatever you want. You can draw the flag of Australia or you can color it. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so that was all about our today's tour. So I hope you all have enjoyed a lot. Okay, so we will meet tomorrow and we will visit Australia. So bye okay. everyone. Have a good day. Bye, bye everyone. Bye. Take care. Bye ma'am. Bye ma'am. Bye ma'am. Bye, ma